Hi, my name is Cindy Seitz Krug. Thanks for joining me in week two of our 52 week demonstration of a grid design every week. This week we're going to do the apple core design and it's a really simple design that I love because it goes fast, it fills up areas quickly, and it's beautiful. So come on over and we'll look at what we're going to do today. All right, so hopefully you can see this area here. This is the apple core, and you can see why they've named it the apple core design. It's because it's based upon the apple core quilting design, and it looks like an apple core. So we'll get our little sample piece in here, and I'm just going to do a small area so that I can get it done during our um, demonstration without taking too long. But I've drawn in some of the lines first so um, that you can see what I'm going to do. A lot of times if you're going to start a grid design, it is helpful to get your first line or two drawn in with your blue pen so that you can um, get the feel for it. Alright, so I'm going to do all of my horizontal lines first. And we're going to start right here. And I'm going to try to quilt without my rubber fingertips getting in the way. I don't like to because I can't grip the fabric, but I'm going to do that so that you can see better. All right, so we're going to get started on our first horizontal line. So you just do an arc. You want to aim for those intersections. That's really crucial in making this design successful. Right now I'm just following my marked lines. Um, now that I've got one line down, I'm going to go down to the next line. And the thing to remember here is that every line is going to be the mirror image of the line before it. So these came in, this one's going to come in. Mirror image. Oop. This one's out, this one will be out. So mirror image, the line before that you previously stitched. Just travel down to the next line. Okay, next line. We got to remember mirror image of the previous line, and aim for those intersections. And now you can see I'm not following my blue mark lines, so you just have to kind of get good at this. I always try to teach my students, don't expect your work to be perfect. You're not a machine, you're not a computer, you're just human. So do the best you can and it'll be fine. Some people even like the design that forms just from doing um, horizontal lines. We haven't even got to the vertical ones yet. All right, now I'm going to just travel down and we're going to um, start our first vertical line. And you have to think about this here if you don't have a line mark like I did. What's gonna, which way do I need to start? What's going to make that design look like an apple core? Well I need to go with my first um, curve, soft S shape to the right of my grid line. And you can see now a partial apple core design forming. Okay, now, now that we've got that first line, we just need to do the mirror image of it every time. i 
arms over here. And we're going to do a mirror image. Remember, aim for the intersections. If you can hit those intersections, when you cross, you'll have um, very successful stitching designs. Next vertical line, remember, mirror image. complete our design for this week. Okay, lock off those stitches. So that's it. I'm going to pull this out and turn it over so that you can see the back and what it really looks like without all those blue marks. And that is our beautiful grid design for week two, the apple core. So hopefully you enjoyed that. And if you like grid designs, remember my book, The Grid Design Workbook. It's got 13 beautiful grid-based designs, step-by-step -step instructions, um, diagrams, everything you need. So check it out at my website, quintessentialquilting.com. And I have a lot of other teaching videos too if you're interested. Thanks and join me next week for our third lesson.